Have you ever heard of web accessibility standards? Today, we'll be discussing what they are, how they came to be, and why they are so important. I'm Alex with Jotform. Let's get started. In 1990, the Americans with Disabilities Act was passed. This was a huge achievement for disabled Americans, but businesses gained some new responsibilities. The ADA required that businesses provide reasonable accommodation. This means that everyone, including those who have a wheelchair, visual impairment, or any other challenges, should have access to businesses, services, and information. The ADA addresses accessibility in both physical spaces and technology, but no guidelines were really put into place addressing accessibility within technology. That's simply because the ADA was enacted before the internet became as extensive as it is now. So, to address this gap, the World Wide Web Consortium created the first web content accessibility guidelines in 1999. The guidelines name four principles to make web content more accessible to people with disabilities and three levels of conformity, which determine an organization's performance in each area. Let's discuss the four principles and levels of conformance. The four principles of accessibility are actually known as the POOR principles. This acronym stands for Perceivable, Operable, Understandable, and Robust. First, Perceivable. This means that anyone viewing the page should be able to consume all information through a variety of senses. No aspect can be invisible to users. There should be text alternatives for non-text content and captions or audio descriptions on multimedia. There should also be an option to view the content in a different way by enlarging the font, reading it aloud, or changing the text color. Everything on the page must be visible to anyone who wants to view it. Second, Operable. The content should be navigable for people who don't use a mouse and keyboard to access the web. Any specialized tools should be able to navigate the content. In this case, operable also means users can view the content at their own speed without any time restraints. Third is understandable. Content needs to be understandable in order to be accessible. If certain visitors can't comprehend your content, then it isn't accessible to everyone. This means you need to identify what language the text is being presented in and give the content at an appropriate reading level. The fourth and final principle is robust. Robust content is available on multiple devices, including computers, tablets, and mobile devices. Your interface should also be compatible with different assistive technologies like screen readers. Now, let's go into the three levels of conformance. These levels are what determine how accessible your website really is. If your website meets the expectations of a certain level, then your website has conformed to that specific level. The first level is called level A. This is the beginner level. And at the most basic level, all websites are expected to meet the criteria within level A. Conforming with level A means that your website has the simplest features of accessibility implemented. This includes text alternatives, logical structures, meaningful sequences, audio control, and keyboard functionality. This is the first step to making your website accessible. The second level is level AA, or the intermediate level. Criteria from level A must already be met in order to move up to level AA. This level requires more advanced aspects to accessibility, including audio descriptions, captions on live videos, and the ability to change the size of the text. According to Glenn Schubert, the executive vice president of marketing at BrailleWorks, this level achieves reasonable accommodation so the users can access all content and easily navigate the site. In fact, level AA is the default for most organizations. Any websites that comply with Google's best practices have already met several of the criteria at this level. There's a lot of overlap between level AA and Google's best practices, like using clear heading and labels on your website. And the final level is considered advanced level AAA. In order to reach this level, your website has to meet the criteria from the previous two levels. Some criteria for level AAA include sign language translation and text alternatives to videos. Features like these are great, but they aren't always doable. Glenn Schubert says that there are some additional standards in AAA that are very labor intensive and very cost prohibitive. This means that not all websites can satisfy every requirement.
If you're looking for an accessible online form builder, JotForm.com is the place to go. We offer form templates that are completely customizable and easy for anybody to use. Okay, let's recap. Web accessibility standards are made up of the poor principles and the three levels of conformance. Poor stands for perceivable, operable, understandable, and robust. If you follow these guidelines, your website will be accessible to everyone. The levels of conformance determine how accessible your website is from level A, level AA, and level AAA. Each level has their own set of criteria, and as you achieve more and more criteria, you move up through the levels. Accessibility on the web does not need to be complicated. If you want to know where your website stands in terms of accessibility, you can test it by using a website accessibility checker online. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope this video was helpful. I'm Alex with JotForm. See you next time.